Hi, this is David from David's Digs. And uh, now we're, what we're going to do is look at the liquify tool. Um, this is a tool that allows us to smooth things out. Um, you'll see it a lot of times when people are trying to push in love handles or pieces of fabric or just moving something out of the way. Uh, works wonderfully on a dark uh, where it's a solid background. Um, sometimes if you have like uh, grass or something like that, it'll actually bend the grass. And I can kind of show you an example of that if I remember to do that here. Uh, but basically what we're going to work on here is working on smoothing this fabric out here and then these little bumps in the fabric in through here and then possibly pushing this leg back up just a little bit so um, the compression right here makes the leg kind of take that weird angle so um, I thought probably the easiest way to do that would be just come in here and what we're gonna do is duplicate the layer so we're gonna do a command J to duplicate the layer and then we're gonna come up to the filters and hit liquify and uh, basically that will take us into this screen I'm going to get the magnifying glass and kind of zoom in on the center section to start with. Grab my little shove brush here and we're going to boost up the brush a little bit so it's a little easier to work with here. And what I want to do is shove this area back in and kind of smooth out around the back. So we have some little lumps that we can kind of just shove in just a little bit and kind of just smooth that out. Um, we're going to kind of push in the fabric here on the, on the back of the bottom. And then come down here and we're actually going to kind of straighten this out through here. So what we're going to do is kind of pull this section down a little and then shove this back up a little bit. Works really seamlessly. It's a, just a really nice tool to work with. Um, now what we have is I'd like to kind of pull, pu push this up just a little bit because when you sit on a chair it kind of shoves the leg up. It's kind of a really awkward angle for the leg and it, um, her, her leg definitely isn't that that thick but it just kind of makes it squish out as much as possible there so what i did is i actually grabbed the masking tool and we're going to mask the chair here because we don't want to change the chair um, so that's to add mask and this is actually to subtract mask a little bit so we're going to kind of come in here and just kind of pull that back a little bit uh, go back in and grab the, the move tool increase the brush size because it's going to be working in a really large area here and I'm going to kind of keep it back. You can move something, moves it real dramatic if you put the little cursor on there, but if you actually pull back a little bit so you start here, you, you click on your mouse and kind of shove down and it makes a lot more gradual pushes so it, it, they're not quite as dramatic. So we're going to kind of just come in here and just shove it back up a little bit and try and keep it as smooth as possible so we don't we don't get any jerkiness to it. Um, now I, I did notice there was a little tweaky thing up here. So I'm going to kind of zoom in on this area here. There's just that little nib and you can get rid of that with a brush tool or a stamp tool or there's a bunch of different ways you can get it. But since we're in here, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab a, just kind of shrink this down and just kind of shove this back down in. Pretty easy to take care of once you're in here. And that kind of takes care of that. And then if you don't want, you can actually come in here and kind of squish this down a little bit. And just kind of smooth it all out. So we click OK and it's going to basically make all that, put all that stuff together on the image. And then we're going to just kind of zoom in here a little bit. And once you, you the reason why I do the, the duplicate the layer is because now you can come in here and click it, toggle it on and off and see if the adjustments really worked for what you're looking for. So if you watch her back here in the fabric, I'm going to turn it off here. You can see how it just really cleaned that up. And then also along here, along her leg, if we toggle that off again, you can see how it just really cleaned that up too. So um, it just is a really neat way to sort of push things around a little bit. Uh, works great on uh, anybody who has a little bit of a muffin top over their pants. A lot of times you can just shove, the, shove that uh, extra skin back in. Um, sometimes a fullness of cheeks you can shove back in. Um, you, can, you, know, you can even push in like the neck or something like that. Um, where it gets tricky is where you're, if you were shoving in something like around here and you would you could actually pull her hair too. So if you were trying to shove in this piece here, if you didn't mask her hair, you would actually tweak that a little bit. So, um, but a great tool to work with, uh, that is the Liquify tool. Thanks for watching.